when trying to find the center of mass of a thin plate, the first thing you have to determine is which way are you going to slice your plate. And of course, to do that, you're going to have to have a graph. Now, I want to go ahead and look at page 482, number 17. We're asked to find the center of mass of x equals y minus y cubed. To get a graph of x equals y minus y cubed, which is actually not a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test, uh, you go ahead on your graphing calculator and you graph y equals x minus x cubed, which I've sort of shown here in a dashed line in red, and then you reflect it across the line y equals x. And so our function looks something like this, our, excuse me, our curve. <laughs> and the region that we are finding the center of mass of is inside here. Okay? Now I'm going to use horizontal strips because I need to have two distinct boundaries. My right side boundary is the curve x equals y minus y cubed and my left hand boundary is x equals zero, the y axis. A few bits of information that we need to gather when we're doing horizontal strips are the center of mass on a strip which is tilde y and tilde x or tilde x comma tilde y. Okay. For horizontal strips, the tilde y is easy. It's just y. Tilde x is going to be the right hand boundary plus the left hand boundary divided by 2. In our case, y minus y cubed plus 0 divided by 2. The dm is your density function times the length of a strip, and the way you get the length of a strip is the right minus the left times dy. Let's go ahead and start by doing the integrals for our moments. For the moment about the x-axis, we do the integral from a to b, and you'll notice on my graph, I've already indicated that uh, a is 0 and b is 1. And the way you do that is you just uh, set, set, these, set x equals 0 and y minus y cubed equals 0, or excuse me, you set 0 equal to y minus y cubed and you solve. And so the two places that that happens is at 0 and 1. Okay, that's how I got those spots. The moment about the x-axis, m sub x, is tilde y, which is just y for us, times dm. Now, this particular problem, our plate has a constant density, so we just have a delta. We don't have a delta of x. So we've got delta. Right minus left, for us, is just going to be y minus y cubed, because the left-hand side is 0. And then dy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this integral. Delta is a constant, so we're just going to break it out front. And then I'm going to distribute y, and I get y squared minus y to the fourth dy. Antiderivative here is pretty straightforward. Use your power rule, and we get y cubed over 3 and y to the fifth over 5 between 0 and 1. Fundamental theorem. When you plug in 0, the stuff's gone. When you plug in 1, you get 1 third minus 1 fifth, which happens to be 2 fifteenths. So, this is 2 delta over 15. Moment about the x-axis. Going to go ahead and do the moment about the y-axis over here. For the moment about the y-axis, it's tilde x, right minus left over, or excuse me, right plus left over 2. Right, we're going to find the center of the strip. And in our case, that's just y minus 3 over 2, y minus y cubed, excuse me, over 2. 
and then dm is delta times y minus y cubed dy. In this case, I'm going to factor out delta over 2. Those are constants. And then I just have y minus y cubed squared. Go ahead and foil that bad boy. Which is y squared minus 2 y to the fourth. I had a little momentary lapse there. And then plus y to the sixth dy. Antiderivative again. Not too bad. Still got delta over 2 here. y cubed over 3 minus 2 fifths y to the fifth plus y to the seventh over seven. Oh shoot. I suppose I shouldn't put that there because I did the antiderivative. Once you take the antiderivative, don't put the integral sign anymore. Come on, Mr. Murphy, this is ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Plugging in our a and our b, when you put in zero, these are gone. When you put in one, you get delta over two equal, uh, not equals, times one-third minus two-fifths plus one-seventh. Common denominator here happens to be 105. Wow. And when you do that math, you get 35 minus 42 plus 15 over 105, which happens to be 8. Uh, this is 8 over 105 times delta over 2. And so we are looking at 4 over 105 delta. 4 delta over 105.